What's up guys, Devin here with another quick video on how to go about creating an LLC or a limited liability company in the state of Georgia. I know it varies state from state. In the state of Georgia, you actually can knock this out online. I know a lot of states may require you to physically go to the county office. In Georgia, it's really quick and it's really simple. So today I'm gonna to walk you through the steps of uh, creating your LLC online. In addition, I'm gonna show you how to go about creating your tax ID number or your EIN for your business because this is one of those things that's extremely vital to uh, do things like uh, maybe open up a business account for your business. So I'm gonna walk you through all these steps. And of course, guys, if you like the video, if you learned something new, please don't hesitate to press that like button down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more. I got the keys, keys, keys. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my internet here. Good old Google, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Georgia Secretary, Secretary of State, just like that, right? And you're gonna go to the Georgia Secretary of State website. Typically, it'll be the first option once you type in Georgia Secretary of State. Right, from there, you're gonna hit corporations. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna pull it on my face a bit, you're gonna hit file online, okay? It's really really quick and really simple. So once you get here, you're gonna go to online services and you're gonna have to create a username and password. So if you don't have one created already, I would advise you to go ahead and knock this process out so that you continue forward. All you would do is literally hit this button right here. It says create a user account, All right? Cool, perfect. So moving on, um, I already have one set up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit log in. It takes a few seconds, but once you get in here, you're gonna then hit where it says create or a register, or I'm sorry, create a or register a business. Um, here it is right here again. So I'll put a little arrow right there on the side, right here. Create or register a business. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Create a register a business, like so. Okay. And what you're gonna do is I am creating a new domestic business. Now, if you're non a non-Georgia resident or business um, that is in good standing or uh, in its place of formation, you can just hit this other option. But this is for those who are creating a new entity or a new business, right? You're gonna hit or select. Uh, domestic limited partners, or I'm sorry, domestic limited liability company. So we're because we're creating an LLC. Now, if you wanted to create those other options so from a, a profit corporation, nonprofit, a, uh, a limited partnership, and so on, you can choose the other options. But for the the point of this video, we're going to go ahead and knock out the limited liability company because we want to create an LLC, right? Okay. So next, um, we don't have a business registration uh, reservation number. If you do, you hit select. You would select yes and put it in here. But in this case, you know we are brand brand spanking new. We don't have that. So we're gonna um, hit no and continue forward to our next option here. Um, you're gonna place your business name. Let's just say uh, Bob Marley Real Estate, right? Oh, and it must contain LLC in it, right? Because it's a limited liability company. Um, our next option, let's say uh, the Marley Brothers LLC, right? These aren't needed, but in the event that you can't use that particular registered name, um, if it's taken already, you'll, you'll have other options to choose from, or they will have other options for you to work with, right? Okay. Um, if applicable, upload a letter of name approval form from an appropriate agency. And I think this is if you were uh, needing some type of approval from a particular agency. In this instance, this isn't needed. Um, hopefully the name you choose doesn't require any of that good stuff um, since it's a unique name that you're gonna use and it's not from some uh, or rather, it's you don't have, you don't need any further documentation needed from like your, your your partners or a specific business to continue forward. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and continue forward to our next uh, business purpose here in AICS code. So basically, what it's asking is for 
um, what does your business have to do with? What is it? What is the niche? For me personally, we're dealing with real estate. So I would obviously select the option where it says real estate. Right. So I would go to real estate and rental leasing. And then furthermore, you have a sub code here. Um, in my particular instance, I would use, um, let's say, other activities related to real estate. But again, just depending on your niche, you know, you have several options here to choose from. Just choose something that's, you know, closely related to your particular business so that whenever they go do go through and create the, the, your, your LLC for you, you'll have something or that code that is strictly, um, strictly specific to your business of choice. Right? So once you get that done, you're going to go here and put in your address. So um, let's see, I'm just going to use one of these old addresses here. I have so many. So let's just use this address here. I think this is from a, a house I was working on selling. Um, so you just put in your address, the city and the county or country. Furthermore, you'll put the state and the zip code, right? Next, you also put an email address. So I'll just fill in some information on one of my email addresses I have. So you'll simply put down your primary, you'll put down a secondary email address if, if need be. Um, I'm, not, I'm just gonna keep that blank. But you can confirm that primary email address. Also, you are going to create a registered agent. So this is the person that uh, basically creates this LLC for you or that needs to go in and do any of this, uh, this filing for you. So again, in my case, I put in my name, all my information, just like so, right? And it fills in here, and you'll hit add, right? Once you have it added, you'll see it added here right under there. Um, there's no other optional provisions that I need, so I'm just gonna continue forward. And then um, all you do next is just hit this box claiming uh, the filers, that the filer is real and that you're, you're, you're certifying that everything is accurate, right? Okay, so I'm the authorized signer and the authorizer title is going to be for myself. I would put uh, uh, member because I'm a member of the organization, All right? So I'm gonna continue forward. Oh, it says, please create the registered agent. For some odd reason, don't know why. I have myself selected here. Here we go. So got to make sure all this good stuff is filled in from the looks of it. You continue. Please create a register agent. It still says that. So this is, I don't know why this part gets pretty iffy. So here, what I'm going to do, I'll create my girl's uh, information here. I'll just put my, my girl's information. So I'll put it in Demetra Spiliati, right? And we'll put our email and all that good stuff here. You got, uh, we're in Fulton County. So all the, I mean, just you'll just create this based on where you are, right? So there we go. Thanks all that. Let's see if that works. There we go, that worked. All right, cool. So here we are, we're almost done. We're in the review stage here. So all you're gonna do next is just verify everything looks good, Bob Miles Real Estate, or the Molly Brothers LLC. Um, you got your address here. Um, let's see, principal purpose is real estate and rental leasing or other activities related to real estate. And again, you want to choose something that's specific to your particular business. Uh, they have a, a tremendous amount of options, so please choose the right choice for your particular business. All right, then you have your registered agent, the person who actually placed the, um, the, the or filed for the LLC, right? Um, Let's see, and of course we selected that everything is accurate, right? So you would submit. And the next thing you would do is simply pay. It is a $100 filing fee to go ahead and knock this part out. And that's it guys, it's very simple. If you have any questions, please let me know and we'll go ahead and um, get everything figured out for you. All right, so the next thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and X out of this. The next thing I wanted to walk through you guys with is actually creating a, 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 a business, a tax ID for your business. So what you're gonna do is this pretty much 
this is the same anywhere you are in the country. Now, you want to watch out for those those websites that are charging you to create this. There is no fee to create um, your tax ID number. If there if there is a fee, I promise you, it is not what they are charging you uh, for for these uh, services. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to irs.gov. Or rather, you can simply type in EIN here, just like I'm doing here on Google. Press enter, and the first you're just going to hit the first option. You know it's legitimate if it's uh, the, if the website is from the IRS, the government, right? Because that's where you're getting the, the social from. So you're just going to hit that option there, right? And so you scroll down where it says apply online. That simple, right? Okay, so that's gonna give you a warning or whatever and then you just begin the application here. So what you're gonna do is select limited liability company, right? It's gonna ask you um, or basically explain what it is to you, what the LLC is. We already know that, right? And then it's gonna continue forward, ask you some more good information. But all you will do is simply go through the prompts. Um, it's pretty straightforward and they give you um, your your tax ID number pretty much immediately after you, you complete the process. So um, guys, please do these things together because again, you're gonna need that tax ID number uh, in the event you need a business account or anything else business related where they need that tax ID number, for uh, especially for tax purposes. All right, guys, that's all I had. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you do actually uh, continue forward setting up your, your LLC. So many benefits from creating an LLC for your business. I just hope you guys go ahead and take advantage of the convenience. Of course, if you have any questions regarding how to set up an LLC in the state of Georgia, please feel free to comment your questions below or simply send me a message. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your business needs. All right, guys, see you again soon.